Hey, Todd Cahill here. Hey, I'm really excited about this actual video series that I'm gonna start. It's called Living Your Life on Purpose. And I don't know about you, but this is one of the hardest things um, that a lot of people face is, what is my purpose? Why on earth am I here? Well, I just wanna first of all let you know that it takes ownership of really your beliefs, your thoughts, your actions, and your habits. And I wanna give you three habits today on how to really start to identify what your purpose is in life. Now again, this isn't easy because again, we're put on earth for a reason, but a lot of times because of busyness and the kids and the, the, the job and the school and all this stuff, we haven't really took the time to actually think about why are we here? Am I truly fulfilling my destiny? Am I truly fulfilling my purpose in life? Now, I actually read a book many, many years ago called The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, and it just really changed my life that I decided to do something about it. So hopefully this video will help you. Now, I'm gonna give you the three habits of how to start identifying that, and then many, many more videos to come, obviously on this topic, on this subject of purpose. First of all, when you are trying to identify your purpose, it comes down to a self-analysis. You know, the first responsibility of all of us is to define our reality. We have to do a self-analysis of wh what we're currently going through, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, because we need to know what we're good at, what we're not good at. If I'm five foot six and my desire is to be in the NBA as a center, I can practice my tail off, I can work so hard, I mean, I can, I can get the best coaches in the world. Am I ever gonna make the NBA at five foot six as a center? Absolutely not, okay? So we have to start identifying reality sometimes. We have to understand, okay, what are we good at? What are we not good at? And then what are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? But here's what I want you to know. Don't beat yourself down because of your weaknesses. We just need to identify them so that we can move more towards your strengths. Focus mostly on what you're obviously good at. You know, we want just you to become aware. You know, I need to become aware, you need to become aware of what truly, truly our current reality is and what we're good at. Number two is we need to own it. So what that means is acknowledge, you know, some of the roadblocks that lie ahead that actually we're currently facing now and we need to own it. We can't run away from our problems. We can't run away from our current reality. But what we can do is we can do something about it. We can actually get better. We can grow as a person. We can read the books. We can listen to the tapes. We can go to the seminars. We can get a hold of our life. We can get a hold of really what we're good at. We can start honing the skill. We can start becoming better at the skill. And I'm telling you, uh, that really is the first responsibility. And once you do that, I think the hardest part is over. Because once you know where you're going, and yeah, you might be a, a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10, but you can always get better and better and better once, you're, once you have that awareness, okay? Awareness leads to the choice to change. So own it, okay? Don't avoid problems. And number three is pay, uh, uh, pay close attention to the details. Play, uh, pay very close attention to the details. What does that mean? What are you passionate about, okay? Think about that. Do you get lost in a book? Do you love to go to the movies and love to write? Maybe you should be a writer. Uh, do you uh, love to speak in front of people in large groups, but you are, are very either bored or very shy in small groups or vice versa? What do you love to do? That's the first step of identifying your passion. And then again, if you even wanna make money even in a profession in your passion, you can now start to get better and better and better. So the bottom line is, you know, be also, I think this too is learn you and also be proud of you. Be proud of who you are because look, God created you. There's no one ever gonna be like you. There was no one like you before you. There's never gonna be anyone like you in the future. You are an individual that's uniquely created by a creator and you need to learn you. You need to learn what you are good at and what you do love to do. And also, don't be afraid to ask God for help. Ask Him for help because you, once you you know, ask for help, and of course, you're not just taking this on yourself or avoid it, don't avoid your purpose because you're going to regret it. You know, the worst thing ever is when you die with music still in you. And what that means is when you die with the music that you really wanted to, you know, create, so to speak, on this earth, living your life on purpose, you never got a chance to, you got too busy, you didn't have the money, all of these things, all these excuses, this is the time to understand that. And here's the bottom line. I want you to really, really understand, understand this and I'll close this video. And the whole point of this video is this. I want you to understand this one thing. Your purpose is not out there. Your purpose is in here. You've got to identify that right now and learn you. And boy, wait till the next few videos. Thanks so much.